Hi there. This message is brought to you by House 316. God bless you as you listen. So, so how are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Can you clap for Jesus, man? Yeah, Jesus has done a lot for us. Amen. Today, uh, we're going straight into um, the series that we started. The key of honor. The key of honor. Today, we're going to look at um, um, something, an expression of honor. But uh, be before I write on, let me just uh, bring back some of the things that we have established already. Please, I beg you, I beg everyone, okay, try and get the teaching of last week. That's the foundation. I will just be laying uh, every other thing on the foundation that we have laid. Um, I, I, I don't know how long this series is going to take. It may take, I, I don't know, I don't know. You, you guys know how it is. As God will lead us into this series, uh, we keep studying. But if you are not here, even if you are here, even if you were here last week, get the teaching from the media guys. It does not take anything. Just give them your phone. They'll transfer it to you. That's all. Go back and listen to it. Is that okay? The more you listen, you have better understanding. I show you. You begin to see things that have not been even said. Okay? Alright, so, so today we're going to continue. But let me just bring some of the uh, stuff that we have established. We said, uh, Ono is um, the recognition, the ability to recognize that something, someone, that's a principle or a person is useful to you. And then you reward such person or such principle. That's the meaning of Ono. We've also established that every failure in this world, every failure, relationship, marriage, education, that's academic failure, okay? Uh, any failure, business failure, any failure in this world is connected to dishonor. Either you dishonor man, then you fail. Or you dishonor God, you fail. Or you dishonor a principle, then you fail. The reason why you fail that exams is because there's a principle called hard work. Attending class, all this, you didn't do that. And so you fail. Business has its own principle. There are business principles. So when you dishonor such principle, you fail. There's a way you're supposed to communicate and relate with your customers. It's a principle in business. So when you dishonor that, okay? So we say dishonor is to despise, to disregard. We say honor is a key that opens access, access to you. Honor is a key to favor. And I gave you uh, examples of um, how honor has opened favors to me. Okay? And if honor is a key to open, then dishonor is also a key to lock. You see, to close. Honor opens access. Dishonor is access. Okay, so these are some things. We, we said a lot of things. The, the teaching was even long, like one hour plus. Okay, because it was the foundation. I needed to do that. Because the series... Um, I don't think they'll be taking up to 40 minutes or 30 minutes there about so but that I, I had to take my time to establish all that so I recommend that everyone gets um, that teaching today we're going to look at uh, still we're talking about honor we're going to see the expression of honor in a form in a format that um, is very very important that has brought benefit to those who honor it there are different ways to honor if you guys remember last week i told you um one way to honor is to is to give one way is to pray okay what was the other way to to serve to serve okay that's way to honor, to honor someone 
and i told you the difference between honor and respect okay the two different things you can respect without really honor honoring usually respect um is compulsory you have to respect is compulsory you have to do it the reason is because um, um maybe is your boss in the office you have to respect him if not you will not get salary you'll be sacked you find so you respect him it's compulsory but honor is willingness you uh, your self-will you do it yourself you just know that you have to do this are you getting me all right now let's go to luke chapter 17 verse 1 we're going to probably read uh, one verse um one book one portion okay um 17 verse 11 this story that i'm going to read is only found here it is not found anywhere again in the bible just this place okay it's only found look only look gave this and um to me one of the reasons is because you know look look jesus did a lot a lot of miracles a lot of stuff and these disciples are actually you know all, all these disciples are professionals some are professional fishermen tax collectors and then this guy was a physician he was a like a medical doctor okay so he took interest in this story okay so um um he, he gave the account okay let me see can you open to let's go to exodus first exodus 20 let me show you something the reason why i'm making emphasis um you see please don't be deceived nobody should deceive you okay make up your mind as an individual to take this principle dear to your heart i want to make emphasis on the need for you to apply this principle that's why we'll check this verse before we go to our main text okay and god spoke all these words saying you have to be fast I'm the Lord your God who brought you out of um, out of what um, please Shedra can you just be there I'll have to be I need to be fast okay so um, it's checking we start to we start reading again from verse 2 Exodus chapter 20 the reason why I'm bringing this is to make emphasis on the need to apply this principle. Okay, so from verse 2, Exodus 20 verse 2. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. You shall. Can you see? Do you know what I'm reading? The Ten Commandments. You guys remember? You guys remember the Ten Commandments? You shall have is it is it good to have juju huh anybody has juju here come on it's not good to have juju right verse the next verse verse four you shall not make yourself a carved image okay the next verse you shall not bow down to them next verse but showing mercy to next verse you shall not take you see this you shall not take the name of the lord that's why you guys don't swear do you swear do you swear talk to me come on do you swear why 
because there's this commandment right you know you know you don't swear if your children will swear do you will you allow your children to swear talk to me will you this verse remember the sabbath day to keep let's talk about sabbath a little bit you know we've, we've talked about sabbath you guys remember you guys need to get this teaching of sabbath i don't know whether it's recorded it's just deep this sabbath It's so deep. The teaching on the mystery of the morning. I think that one was recorded. Get it. The reason is because I touch a little about calendar days. Okay? So we're in Sunday today, but some people are sat- still Saturday. Now they're still Saturday. In fact, some people's zone is worse. Um, they have um, six months day six months night yes there's some people it's like see, 24 hours is day they just think there's something like night okay so but i don't talk about this um, um so, uh, what is the meaning of sabbath do you know that sabbath is not a day it's not a name it's not a name of a day it's not the name of a day. That's what a sabbatical leaf. The professors use it. It's from this song. It means rest. Resting day. Resting day. You choose. God, uh, Monday, Tuesday. Uh, God, God used one, two, three, and then he, he rested on a day. And that day that he rested. Eh? Because he rested that day it was called sabbath day god did not rest because it was sabbath no he rested and then it became sabbath that's why jesus says sabbath the day was is meant for man in fact the days that you are calling is even worse sunday is a day named after the god of sun monday day after the god of moon monday monday Tuesday after the God called Zeus. Go, go and do research and find out. So, so I don't want to enter this argument that uh, is Sunday, is Saturday. No. Count your choose a day after every seven is a principle. And rest is a principle of rest. So remember this. Uh, okay, so but let's talk about the Sunday. Uh, but we have a very deep understanding on this. But let's talk about Sunday. If we don't work on Sunday, do you fry, um, um, cosé and sell on Monday? No, you close your shops on Sunday. You, you do that, right? If I get, to, if you do, hey, you're working on Sunday. Is that right? That's what you would do. Next, um, next verse. So the Sabbath is holy. You keep it holy. You guys don't do. You, you observe Sabbath. Is that right? Um, what's happening? This system um, has issue. Okay. So, let me just go. Yes, please read. Exodus 20. Verse 9, you must stop. Verse 9. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work you see uh, what i'm even trying to say is even explain here six days you shall go count your six days one two three three three, and then name your sabbath okay um The next verse is still talking about Sabbath. I'll go. I'll jump to verse twelve. Verse twelve says, "Oh, know thy father and thy mother." You see that? You see that? Verse thirteen: Thou shalt not kill. Fourteen: Thou shalt not commit adultery. Fifteen: Thou shalt not steal. So sixteen: Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Seventeen: Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not cover verse 18 and the people and all that okay and that, that was the end do you know the law that that shall not kill is it good to kill 
Is it good to um, steal? Huh? All these things are being mentioned. Are you getting me? Please listen to me. Oh. All these things are mentioned. Is that right? If someone kills, he has broken one of the Ten Commandments. If someone dishonors his parent, is equal. That's just the emphasis I want to make. That's why I read that. Why will you esteem the commandment of thou shalt not kill more than thou shalt honor? They are all in the Ten Commandments. So if you break one, you, it's the same thing. Honor their parents is there in the. Honor their parents is beyond a principle, it's a commandment. And it is the only commandment, if you go to Ephesians chapter 6, it is the only commandment, the first commandment that, in fact, it's the only commandment in this that the commandment was given and what it will bring. Thou shalt not kill, that's all. Thou shalt not steal, that's all. Thou shalt not, no, no, no. Sabbath day. In fact, Sabbath day, they're supposed to show us the reward. You rest, okay? But they didn't even tell us. It is only this one. Honor your parents. And then it mentioned the promise attached to that commandment. This cannot be overemphasized. Let's go to Luke chapter 17, verse 11. Luke 17, verse 11. If you own it, um, um, just allow it. You take time, okay? Here, look, chapter seventeen. Can somebody read or something? What's going on? Hmm? From here. Yes, verse eleven. Please read. Make chunk. Now it happened as well, let's come. Okay, right on, right on. Okay, now it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Continue. Okay. Yeah, right on. Then as he entered a certain village. Okay, that's that's Jesus talking about Jesus. Please is it possible to display it? Okay, right on. Okay. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers. Okay. Who stood afar off? Okay. So now, now look at. Please, everyone, look at me. There are ten lepers. Ten of them, lepers that had um, a disease called leprosy. Leprosy um, is a very dangerous disease. Um, you know that it's caused by a bacteria. And. A lot of us are actually leprous. There are a lot of people here that are spiritually leprous. Leprosy here um, is a significant state of many people in their spiritual lives. When you are leprous, your nerves are insensitive. You're getting me? You cannot hold things. Uh, in some cases, it, damage, it damages your eyesight. It damages your skin. Okay? And it is an infectious disease. But um, usually, um, when you... Ha you'll have to be consistently be in contact with the person that has leprosy before you... You get that? And when, when you have um, the bacteria, it takes about, it takes about, you, you guys cannot, you guys cannot imagine this. It takes about three, five years, in some cases, 20 years before it begins to show. Because it's slow, dangerous. You won't even know that you are leprous. It's the same thing in our spiritual lives. You are leprous, you don't even know. The treatment of leprosy it can be treated, it can be cured. In fact, 
Um, many people, according to World Health Organization, WHO, about 15 million people have been killed worldwide um, within the past 20 years. Okay, 15 million can be killed. But usually the treatment takes from six to one year, six months to one year to treat. You see that? I want you to see how dangerous this leprosy is. And I'm saying that some of us seated here are actually lepros. We are not spiritually sensitive because our spiritual nerves have been damaged by this disease called leprosy. It is the reason why you cannot hold on to one thing for a long time. Your nerves are damaged so they cannot hold things. So spiritually some of you can... And if you check out the statistics of inconsistent people, it's more in Africa. That is why leprosy is even more in Africa. So some of you, you are seated here. So don't see that these people, these 10 lepers that are talking about are some people that have some diseases. Some of you have it. You are spiritually lepros. You have seen that, right? Amen. And usually when they do the test, they will tell you you have leprosy. You will not even believe. Because you feel there's nothing wrong with you. Not, nothing. You're, you're feeling alright. So it's the same thing. So when they are telling you spiritual lepros, it's the same thing. You say, I don't know how about this guy is just talking. But look at the effects. You are not consistent in your relationship. You are not consistent in your business. You are not consistent in your ministry. You are not consistent in your spiritual life of prayer, prayerfulness. You are not consistent. You will start and then it will end. You are actually leprous. You are not sensitive to discern certain things. So these 10 people, I told you here, is a significant position of some spiritual lives okay the next verse verse 14 and they lifted up their voices and said jesus master have mercy on us now look at don't forget we're talking about ono okay and we're going to see an expression of ono here master they call him jesus and master do you see here they didn't ask to be healed? They didn't ask to be healed. They asked for mercy. Okay? Now these guys, the ten of them, were kept afar from the city. For them to have called him Jesus, and that's not enough. They also call him Master. Now, apart from these guys, Okay, apart from these guys, there are apart from these guys and the disciples of Jesus, no one has called Jesus directly my master. They may call him with other name. Apart from his disciples, and then others that were referring to Jesus as uh, as the master of his disciples. Amen. There is a serious principle here. Okay? This guy will have called him um, like the blind man, the son of David. Now, that, that's a different thing. But they will have called him son of David. That's who they know him. But they call him Jesus, Master. And they knew that he has mercy. This is Ono. Jesus recognized the fact that these guys were actually honoring him. They were not just calling for him to heal them. Some of you, you are so stupid and foolish that when you go to get something from someone, you don't understand the language of honor you speak anyhow. 
these lepers had the wisdom to speak the language of honor. Simple, sir. Some of you don't have it in your mouth. If you do kuru, that's so kuru. You must. This sir is 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 by default. You will say sir. <laughs> If you do sense of guru, especially those years, many years, that's sad. If you just, you, you know, the, the way they discipline us in the school, no, no, the only seniors in the school is SS3. So even if you're in uh, SS2, you are, once they say junior boys, you are junior boy. There's something like SS2, no, that, that one is name. SS1, when, when you go, you know, SS1 is senior, so you are not, it's junior. Till the day the guys were writing exams, you they ask until the day they do their final papers. Then that night, okay, night before they write the exams, that's what they call freedom night. So they will gather us, they will deal with us. this we'll just be doing, we'll be doing happily because you know it's just that night. <laughs> the next day, we freedom, they still installed that. Sir, the language of honor. So you can just come on language of honor. So if you don't have the language of honor, these guys understood it. So my point here is honor has its language. That's language. You should learn it. That's what I told you. Honor last week. I told you it takes wisdom to display honor. You may in your heart want to honor someone. Okay? But if you lack the wisdom, you cannot do it properly. So you learn it. That's why it can be taught and it can be learned. So know how to speak with people. Some of you don't know how to speak. You must learn it all. Some of you hear that me I know. You, you don't know how to speak honorably. Like with you, you don't. You talk anyhow. I told you about one of you guys. One of you. Uh, it's not one of us. One of you. I don't like that one of us. Like uh, so, me to our mom. You know, me I'm not. It's one of you. <laughs> you know, he 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 took her, and then we're just going, and the guy was just insulting everyone. My and I was in the car. This is somebody that I'm his pastor. I don't share your queen with the buzzer queen. Say, say, phone your ring. When, when, wow, when she, I don't know, but some pick on her. And I just, I disconnected from that guy that day. That, to, pew. This, near, near, if, me, I'm, I'm very, I don't, you guys don't understand. So, your name knows. If I disconnect, I disconnect totally. Since from that time, Papa, language of, you don't have it. You must learn it. These guys, you see, there are some people that you speak just the language and will meet your need. You are not even, these guys didn't ask Jesus to heal them. They knew Jesus had mercy. They called him by the name Jesus. They didn't call him son of the carpenter, son of David, son of Joseph. And they called him master the name that the disciples call him with. Now, Jesus was not mastering them. Yet they call him master. That is why some people, they refer to, as if it's, 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 a, it's a, whatever you think of it, just think of it. But it works because it's a principle. They will just call somebody my father. And then before you see, the person will just open his heart to them. You see that? Next verse. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourselves to the priest. Do you see another thing here? Do you know that Jesus, Jesus didn't heal them? Jesus, Jesus didn't heal them. Jesus didn't say, Okay, you are healed. Jesus, no, he didn't. When they told him, when they call him Jesus, my master, uh, Jesus, master, have mercy on us. And he look at them and say, go show yourself to the priest. This, 
principle is found in Leviticus chapter 13 where God was um, commanding Moses, the children of Israel, that whoever has a leprosy should go meet the priest. It is the priest that will declare you clean or unclean. Um, so when there are symptoms, you will go. Okay? And there is also a very significant point on this you see god uh, give me um, leviticus 13 verse 9 you see god did not tell them to go to a physician they should go to a priest you see now when the lepros are so is on lepros so is on a person then he shall be brought to the priest okay but go and study it it has 59 verses from verse 1 you see all that so when the priest also see them and he will say okay this person is cleansed this person is clean he cannot move to the city when you're in the city and there are symptoms they'll ask you to go away for seven days so go you're getting me right so let's go back to so jesus told him go show yourself to the priest go show yourself to the priest amen look 17 now it happened as no verse we, we pass here now i think verse um, where? And one of them, so when he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourselves to the priest. Not that you are healed. Look, every, look at me. Yesterday, something happened with my wife. She came back, she went out in the morning, came back late. Then she was complaining, back pain, back pain, back pain. She just kept complaining. From that time that she came, she was, where is she? You kept complaining, back pain, back pain till night till around 10 or so uh, i was walking um you know so she, she kept complaining I said, so i told her come she refused said, come that back pain back. i call her she refused thank you you, you call your wife and she refused you can just imagine <laughs> so then when i emphasize then that's when she came that's on her back pain okay the back man will go now. Ask her, she's here. I tell her the back man will go. So this is what you will do. I I I know it. I read it and I, I know it. I have knowledge about it. So I told her, sit like this. I stood up, left the work I was doing. I made her to sit for her. Your legs here. She put my leg here while I was walking like this. Sit. It was not one, two minutes. They start to, telling me that she's now feeling better. You're seeing that? And she felt better. Before, though I told you, you must stay here for 30 minutes because that's what I know. She was saying, oh, it was not 30 minutes. I was just using tactics for her to stay with me. <laughs> so I told her to say 30 minutes. But when she felt okay, then she just left. I said, and the back pain gone. You're seeing that. I'm talking about, oh no. Here. Jesus, you are leprous. Okay, they came like this. Jesus, have mercy on me. And they came like this. And he just said, go and show yourself to the priest. He didn't say, I pray for you. You are healed. No, no, no. Go. That is, is, is stupid. Just like my wife, it was stupid. Come, turn on the back pain. And I'm telling her, come and sit and do. Do you understand? So, all no is obeying instruction. And you must not understand. These guys didn't un go and show yourself to the priest. Do you know that even when the priest is, you are still leprous, go back. You are still leprous. It's still there. You are not healed. Yet these guys went. So one expression of honor is obeying instruction. You don't need to know. Instruction is not made to be understood. It is made to be obeyed. So if yesterday my wife refused to come, she was, maybe today she will still have the back pain. You see that? 
But she just simply obeyed. And her excuse was uh, uh, you, that I took the play. So she thought I was playing. You understand? <laughs> she thought I was playing. But she, I was serious. I know this. I was serious. But she, she thought I was playing. So it's the same thing. When you are being instructed, I'm talking to you guys. Okay? When the person you need to honor instructs you, even if it is playfully, please don't ever play with it. Don't ever play with it. It is not. You guys, I really do not emphasize this. Don't. Even if the person is joking, to you is not a joke. One way to show honor is to obey instructions. Don't question to know why. Let me tell you, listen, everyone listen to me. Let me tell you the worst one. And I'll use this for example. This is the worst. Assuming he told them, go to the priest and they went and the priest found out that they were still not healed still be glad that you obeyed the instruction so obeying the instruction does not mean that it must necessarily bring the result at that time that you are expecting are you kidding me? it's very very important it is Okay, next verse. Okay, okay, we're still here. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourselves to the priest. And so it was as the wind. Are you seeing that? As they were go they obeyed already. And then they were going and then they were cleansed. It was on the way that they were cleansed. They were not cleansed at the spot. And if you leave me, I will tell you that. The key that made them cleanse was the obedience. When he told them, they obeyed and they were going and they were healed. So some of you, you want to see the result first. So much to learn from this short story, right? That's what I told you. The series will just be, we'll just be picking one, one story. The uncommon stories that you know. And then you'll just be seeing the, the key of honor being displayed. Okay. So, um, and so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. Now look at that word, cleansed. Kai. Look at that word, cleansed. You, you may have to do some study. You see that they use cleansed here. And then in the other one, you see something. Okay, let's go. So when he saw them, he's, ah, not, I kept reading this uh, so that means the next verse. And one of them, one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned with a loud voice, glorified God. Next verse. And fell down on his face on the moon. Go back. Go back. And one of the, go back. Do you know what happened here? You guys will not believe it. It is a part of the story that was silent. Did you see that these guys didn't go to the priest? Did they get to the priest? They didn't, go to, they didn't get to the priest. At this point, at the next point, okay, let me show you something. Next, please follow me carefully, okay? And I'll, I'll, I'll get into the and so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. As they were going, past tense, as they were going, as they went, then they became cleansed. The next verse. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, you see, they were cleansed. Okay, then he found out that he was healed. Returned and with a loud voice glorified God. Next verse. And fell down on his face and his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Okay, next verse. So Jesus also said, where cleanse? You see? So you, you read the story 
uh, the story, you see that there is no place that says that they meet the priest. So Jesus said, go show yourself to the priest. They refused. <laughs> because on their way, they found out they were healed. There's no need to go to the priest. No, no need to go to the, Why would I go to the priest? I'm healed already. The, the essence of my going to go and meet the priest is to, to confirm whether I'm healed. And I found out I'm healed. So there's no need to. See, this is very key. Very, very key. It established uh, um, the emphasis is to establish the fact that oh no in obedience yield results when you don't even know why you have to do it. Jesus knew that they are not going to get to the priest, they will be healed. In fact, the language of Jesus was you are healed, but in an instructive manner. You have seen that, right? My, my son, anytime he, he needs money to, you say, Daddy, money, buy, he will mention either chin chin or juice or whatever, but he will say, Daddy, money. So he knows pocket. So he will put it, my, his hand in my pocket and all that. So he will do nothing. Then I'll, sometimes I'll hide this, sometimes he will see money, sometimes I'll hide this, see, no money. He put his hand, no money. Then I say, see, no money. He said, no, he knows there must be money. Okay, so one day I took 20 naira. Somehow I was playing with him. Then I put the 20 naira in his pocket. Do you understand? He didn't know. So we just So then I say, uh, first, will you eat chin chin? Then he say, yes. Then I say, okay, money. Where's money? Say, money. I say, no, I don't have money. I say, you, money, pocket. They do like this. No, no money. I said, no, no money. Say, put your hand. I forced him. Put your hand. Put your hand. They do like this. They, they, da, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't know how to do it. He was like, ah, da, da. He was so surprised. So sometimes when they tell you to do this, just do it. Just do it. Did, are you learning? Please, I need you to learn it and know it. Okay? So, so Jesus answered and said, Where? No, no, go back. Go back. I'm, I'm getting to the conclusion. So, when he saw them, he said to them, Go show. Okay? Next verse, verse 15. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned with a loud voice. You see, 10 people. Please listen to me. Ten and then one person. The significance of this number is to show you that many people honor people because of what they will get, and that ends it. You honor him so that you get that thing. Once you get that thing, that's all. Kai, this is dangerous. And one out of ten, that's ten percent. And this describes our generation. Many of us honor people because of what we get. And once we get that thing, he will not see us. Once we get that thing, he will not see us. Amen. You guys are learning, right? I wanted to check out the people. Now, listen. You see, Jesus told them to do this and they were healed from their leprosy. Let me use House 316 for instance. There were many of you that came to this church, lepros. You didn't have focus, no consistency, no spiritual naps. From the teachings, the guidance that you received from this church, has 316, you got healed. Some of you left. Some of you are still here. 
but I'm trying to raise your conscience. I'm trying to relate what you're reading with what's happening with you in practical terms. So if you are actually healed, because you have over years you have been serving, following instructions, following the teachings, your understanding, opening, you're getting enlightened, is a reason to come back and say thank you. So not because you gain the knowledge and then you feel and one thing that the Spirit of God told me is in Hans 16 we will never get dry. Never. It is one of my confidence why I'm not you, you guys may not understand when there has to be fresh and anointed teachings every Sunday. And sometimes in some cases, two, three. Like today, after service, we're going for another program to go and do a teaching. Today in the evening. So some Sundays, you have other engagement. After the Sunday teaching, maybe there's even relationship conference again. Or relationship conference or another program. And the freshness, the anointing must still be fresh. We cannot be dry. So when you get one small thing, then you feel you, you don't get time. <laughs> when even we, we're still learning every day. See, do you know that, man? Okay, like today's teaching, if I go home to listen to it, when I'm listening, I'm not joking. When I'm listening to it, I will just be seeing different angles, perspectives that I'd even, I didn't even know, I didn't even touch. They are getting fresh every time. Amen. So, um, a man of God was angry with one of his members. He came. He, he was nobody. The man of God brought him, groomed him up, polished him. And then the guy became, you know, then the finest babe in the church. The guy married her. Immediately he married her. Three months later, he left the church. To go and start his ministry. And it pained the man of God. And the guy never, for years, never came back to say thank you. True, true life story is not uh, true. Then a time came that um, um, so somebody's coming and they needed to, to get some pastors. And all of them, um, all the pastors that would be mobilized after the very big crusade, you know, um, the, the man of God was going to bless each of them. The reason they knew was because the same man of God, every country he went, that's what he normally um, did. Okay? So, fortunately, when he came to Nigeria, the opportunity came on that same man of God. He was to select it was under his jurisdiction. So do you think he will mention that man's name? Huh? So he didn't. So he make call the other people. So a lot of people were lobbying. Because they know the thing, the lobbying. Then that same young man shamelessly met another man of God that is his father's friend, okay? To go and beg on his behalf. Shamelessly. Then the man of God told him, told his friend, no, no, no problem. Hapa, he has been my son over the years. No problem. But under one condition, he should come himself. The guy refused to come. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
He didn't use the crown. He, he, he won't be able to even, how will he even come? So you may even, so some of these, our spiritual fathers, you may see them as all nothing. There are certain opportunities they get and you, you can't. I'm telling you. See, what sustained me and my family during this corona was the honor that we gave to Reverend King. Ask my wife. We honored him. He connected me with his sister who was the Tawaf president. And she asked us to come and cover uh, you know, their events for three, three days ago. Uh-huh, three days. And usually um, the Roy TV will have charged like 60,000. Okay, then I told her, man, since, um, you know, uh, he's my father, and well, so just tell us anything that you can afford. But usually this is our charge. I'm not joking, no, this is exactly what happened. Usually this is what we charge. But he's my father. I cannot come and charge, you know, like that. And even that time, I did not even understand the language of Ono. Can you imagine the Yenzuni? So say... Uh, you know, I just told her, don't say, okay, please, can you people manage with, um, I can't remember how much, she is. is it 12K or so? Can you manage with this, 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 I said, bad and mama. We came, we did the work, I've never opened my mouth to ask her for money. I did, never. So she was the one that called me after the program, that, okay, hey, can you, uh, then, that's all. Next thing, I was done producing their weekly program on NTA. Every week. You seen that? Every week, I'm producing it. In fact, you called me last week. They're doing the same program that they did last year. They're doing it in December. So she wants us to come and cover it again. You see? Simple or no? And God knows but sincerely speaking, I was not doing because of the result I was going to. No, me, I just did it from my heart. This man, I must honor him. He's my. Fa- you guys, we were very stubborn that time. Yet he still had. A, he, he, he's our father. So I will have to honor him as a father, regardless of what will ever come. This language of honor that we're studying today is called thank you one of the ways to honor people is to say thank you just say thank you like, like chucks dimbo atia that bought our generator that we're using now we didn't ask him we didn't say sir we need no he called us that we should send three needs of the church. Did, did I need to think? Because that time, you know how we used to suffer this of jail? I didn't need to think. I sent the money, went straight, bought the generator. If I said, then one time, um, one assembly, he sent 50k. One assembly, when he saw that, we didn't want to say, he said, okay, are you, please, can you send your account number? He sent 50k. So when he was he was waiting anniversary three or four days back, you think I'll be a fool not to call him or to send him text. Let me teach you something. I want you guys to learn. When people are doing bad days, anniversaries, all those things, don't tell them happy birthday, congratulations, long life. I said, no. Pick one good thing that they have done to you as a person and appreciate them for. One. Esther James did her body and people were sending then I sent mine because I know this principle. Then she inboxed me. She said she didn't want to reply it because she didn't reply anybody. And at the end, she replied it. Pick one thing. It's a language of all no. I'm teaching you. So when Sojourn is doing bad day, don't Say, uh, happy birthday, Pastor John. Wish you long life. Everybody sending the same thing. Say, Pastor so John, last year when I needed to do a production, I didn't have money. I met you. You did it for me. 
I really, really want to appreciate you. Thank you. Oh, sir, last time I was very discouraged. I remember I came to church and you just played with me. I felt so encouraged, so happy. Thank you. Happy birthday. This is not happy birthday. No, pick. Are you getting me? So, like my birthday, when people were sending messages to, to very sincere, so I was just go sh- sh- sh. only one, and again, yeah, yeah, but it says something. Then I'll just read. I'm not, I'm being honest. I don't want to lie. When you have, when you have 600 something comments, who, who are you going to be reading? You, you, and you have other things. So, you just be looking because everybody said, Happy birthday. Then, one point, somebody will just pick one testimony. This is how you all know people. The language of thank you. Let me tell you the most mind blowing one. The most mind blowing one is the one that you go and sit with your parents, your mother or dad, if they're still alive. See, some of us that miss this, so, yeah, sometimes if I'm saying this, but I just don't know how to say it. So, first, we, we don't have father, we don't have mother. Me and my wife, all of us, we don't have mother, we don't have father. So, so those of you that still have mother and father, please just pick one random day. Don't don't make the day to be special. Like, don't choose a special day. Make an ordinary day special. You understand? Sit down with them. Tell them, mommy, um, pick one old thing that they did that has affected you positively. And tell them this, 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 this. You don't even have anything. Then you say, I just want to say thank you. And you don't want to with parents. Let me tell you one thing with parents. When you buy things, when you come and honor your parents, bar, they hold it in your They can't show it. They kind of, Baba, Baba, Do you understand? But in their heart, they are crying. I'm, I'm not joking. They are crying in their heart. What? But they'll just be holding another Baba. It's just come first. First, say, give my sister that they want to honor you. Me, me, me. It will be killing in my heart, but I'll just look at my first, this small boy. But in my heart, I'll choose Jesus. Do you understand? And after all, you're not even doing it for them to, to, to be emotional about it. No. Do it genuinely from your heart. To say thank you. Just thank you. So I'm teaching you one way, key way to honor people. And usually when you tell people thank you for the small thing, just like we're going to see in the story, for the small thing, they will make the whole thing complete. They will make it bigger. That's why honor is a key. It opens the heart of men to favor you. Amen. You guys have seen that, right? So see what the guy did. He, re- he, he, he found out he was healed. He returned with a loud voice. Glorify God. Let's take the loud. Guys, I'm teaching you oh no. You see that loud? Whenever you are saying thank you to someone that you own, oh no, make it loud. Put it on social media. Print it on your t-shirt. Do, make it loud. Loved it. Now, Kai, oh my, you guys must get this. It is a reason why some of us we want to appreciate our father. We go to social media, we make it loud. That's the thank you aspect of honoring. Okay, I'm not talking about the giving because they are different, you, you know. So I'm talking about the thank you aspect of it. The giving is silent. The thank you must be loud. He made it loud. You are telling the whole world that this person has done this to me, so I want to thank you. Amen. 
So if you want to know anyone, huh? Make it loud. Loud. There was no social media at that time. I'm sure this girl will have used all the social media, all that he has. The only way is to, sh- you know, even this one, this one is even more hard than this. He keep return with a large voice and glorify God. Um, another, if you read, if you study, if you study this portion very well in different versions, commentaries, you find out it is a version that actually interpreted this part as he came down, roll on Jesus' feet, just to say thank you. Now let's go to the last. I think that should be the last um, verse. Amen. But are, are you learning? You are learning, right? Amen. You see, when I say uh, you are learning, what I'm asking you is, are you seeing how you can use the knowledge you are getting now? That, that's what I mean by, are you learning? Are you seeing that when you live here today, what are you are going to do to honor people in thanking, thank you? Okay? And felt, okay, it's here. And fell down, yes, the rolling. The under interpretation talks about rolling on the ground but it fell down on his face at his feet giving him thanks he didn't just do it loud when you want to honor someone please the principle i gave you still stand though how to honor someone um i say you you pray for them you serve them and you give to them you guys remember they still stand. Every other thing that I'll be saying, they'll all fall under this tree. They can't go out of this tree. So the giving thanks that I'm talking about, I say giving. When you have nothing to give, you can give thanks. So giving does not mean just substantial stuff like money, like uh, cars, like all that. But thanks. Just like he gave. Okay, so, so so you guys should understand this. So last week's teaching, the f- uh, foundation of this series, when I told you how to honor, serve, give, and pray for the person, you see, give is still here. That's you giving thanks. So he gave him thanks. The Bible went ahead to say, and he was a Samaritan. Jesus was a Jew. The other nine guys were Jews. Only this guy was a Samaritan. And Samaritans are foreigners. They have nothing to do with the Jews. As a matter of fact, they saw the gospel as was meant to the Jews. Not to the Samaritans, to the Greek, to any other, but to the Jews. They were not to share in the salvation. They were not part of the children of God who understood the principles of the kingdom they saw other people are uh, uh, as out of the kingdom not knowing the principles of kingdom yet there's this man the samaritan who knows this next verse i'm going to say something crucial here next verse please please everyone should listen i want to say something very crucial here so jesus answered and said were they not ten cleansed but where are the nine? Next verse. Okay. Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? Next verse. And he said to him, Arise, go your way. Your faith has made you well. Now listen to me. The total package of the healing took place here. If you check another version, put King James Version of this, just type KGV, KG, KJV, KJV, KJV. And he said to him, uh-uh, KJV. And he said unto him, Go thy way, faith had made thee whole. Before it was not whole, it was like, you know, part, it has made him whole. Please listen to me. That's the favor was done to him totally because of honor. This is what I want to say. The key of honor. Open the doors of people who don't even like you. People who may not have anything 
in common with you. This is key. Why? Because honor is a universal language. So when you are not the same language with her, there is a universal language that she understands and it's called Ono. So Ono is actually a language. You guys didn't understand this point. I'm serious. You guys didn't understand it. When I don't understand now, when I just hear her, when I don't understand her, and I'm not talking, it's the spirit told me, you guys didn't understand this. You didn't see how you're going to apply it. You didn't understand it. If you're looking for admission University of Jos, what do you do? You look for your tribe that is a professor. A professor who is your tribe. Is that right? Is that right? If you're looking for a favor in government house, you say if you're a Biram, you say who is Biram man in government house? You consider that as favor. It is common in Nigeria. There's one Biram man in the office. Go and meet him. You put that as much of a principle when there is a universal language called Ono. You know, I read a story of um, this man that uh, wanted to see one, one big man like that. So he wanted to see this big man. There's no way. He kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. The guy kept coming, putting pressure. Then at the end, he got the appointment. He was going to see this man. So he came in the morning, waited the afternoon. And usually... Um, uh, it's, it's one secret that you guys should know. When you go to see such busy men, the worst time to see them is in the afternoon. They are tired mentally. They won't give you attention as due. The best time is in the morning. They come fresh. They are, you know, once it's the, it's, they've seen people already, they are tired. Are you getting me? So, the, the guy came in the afternoon, which was a bad timing for him. And to make it worse, the big man told the secretary that they should tell him that he has only three minutes. He should be fast about it, talk, and because he has a meeting to attend. So already, the day was not, and then the timing was, everything seemed to be against him. You know, one thing with these great men is that um, when, when you come with issues that it is you that needs help, they don't They'll keep you waiting and all that. They are, in, they are eager to see people that have something that will help them still. Please, can you take these guys behind? There's this, um, 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 there, there's this man, um, if I call his name, all of you, all, all, everybody here will know him in Jaws. So he was, please, can you take these guys? So the, the, he was doing a very big program. Hello, are you getting me? He, wa he was doing a program and then um, he, he made me to be in charge of, um, of um, sending text messages to people. They gave me about, um, uh, about 5,000 numbers or so. So I was actually in charge of that. So th that, that was what I was doing. It's, it's a big program. If I mention it, uh, all of you will know the program or the name of the person. So, so, um, the, so they started a program. And it was a very big program. Very, very big program. In fact, people were coming from, from the U.S. and all that. So, uh, and then they were doing the program. The program has started already. So getting him was difficult. You can't get him. On phone, no way you cannot get him. It's not possible. You, you have to, you know. So, um, so, so, so something happened. I can't remember. There's something that happened that time that the timing must be changed. I think uh, it came from the state. Whether there was coffee or I can't remember. But the timing uh, automatically has to be changed. So, a lot of you were getting to me because the text 
I sent, I put my, he asked me to put my number for inquiries and all that. So people were getting to me. So, so a lot of you asking me to find out will the program still hold in the evening? Okay, so and I, I didn't have the information for that. So I was calling him. He didn't pick. I kept calling him. He didn't pick. Then I sent him text. I said, sir, people have been calling me to find out um, if the time of the program was still in the evening or it has been shifted or that a lot of people have been calling and I said it, it didn't reach five seconds he called me you see because it's important he called me back so when men great men know that you are adding value to what they're doing they'll give you time it's a secret and that's also how to honor great men are you getting me See, no matter how great you are, you will be tired of sitting down. Everybody coming to seek for help, 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 help. So, who has been helping you in this life? He has the money, you don't have the money. He has plenty of money more than you. He has everything, but he has been helping you over years. Huh? One day, just pick 200 Naira recharge card and send to the person. The person is not going to see 200 naira. He will see, oh no. It's not too, he will never see 200 that you send it to. He will not see it. Instead, it is all no that he will see. I, I, have this, I used to have the same problem. Like, Pastor T, can you send Pastor T a uh, recharge card of 1K? What will he do with it? This is a 1K. Can I send me the recharge card? So they say, because of that, I'm not gonna send. You're not gonna, you're not gonna appreciate them. No. no. And these people understood the language of honor. So they, they will not even see the money. The one can we enter, they will not see it. They will just see the name. Roy did this. Do you understand? So the, the story I was telling you. So this guy entered the office. I see entered the office. Now uh, he's also a wise person. He has three minutes. So we entered the office, he greeted the man, then the man was like, sit down. And like this kind, you know, they're not gonna use word talk out. They're gonna use attitude talk out. Tell you, say, sit down, talk your thing and go. Do you understand? Say, okay, sit down. This guy. So then, then the guy sits cheerfully, happily. Um, then he say, uh, I'm, I'm happy to see you, sir. Good afternoon. But then because he knew he has he has studied about the great man if you are going to go and see these great people but know everything about them don't just go empty you don't know anything maybe maybe he's a he's an arsenal fan then you go and wear chelsea t-shirt and enter the office <laughs> the other son, and maybe just last week chelsea Sundara, arsenal 5-0 <laughs> Bad time, you create head button, then you just enter with your Chelsea t shirt. <laughs> you have smelled everything. So, if you know that it's an Asda fan, then you, if, you, if you must wear JC, wear Asda t shirt and come in. So, when the guy entered, fortunately, there was, um, I don't know, because it's, it's not in, uh, this didn't happen in Nigeria, okay? There's um, this American football game, uh, what they call it, American football. You know it now. Rugby that will hold this. Uh -huh. So there's one star like that of um, one of the clubs that the man, that's a great man, did, they did the idol and he kept it on the table. Do you understand? So when the guy sat down after greeting, the next thing was to talk about that image. He said, sir, this guy is a great player. And then the man, the man was like, ah, yeah, he's a great big fuck. Before you know, they started talking about that guy. <laughs> Three minutes, they were just talking about that guy. And the guy was just, do you understand? Suddenly, so he picked his interest, and before you know it, that's how, in fact, the man canceled the meeting that he was having. After they've talked, talked, talked on this and this, hey, okay, so what, what actually brought you? You know, already he has what? Bought the heart of the man. Amen. You see, when you tell people thank you, this is what it does. Please listen to me. When you tell people thank you, this is what it does. 
it opened the door for you wider. If you used to come and stay in the compound, this time they open the door to you to the parlor. You have access to their parlor. If you used to come and stay in the parlor, the access will go to the kitchen. You see that? So it opens more doors for you. Secondly, what thank you does is it completes other things. The favor they've given you maybe didn't come complete. They make it complete. Right, you see me? They make it complete. Father, thank you. Let's just appreciate God. We hope you had a wonderful time listening to the message. For prayers, counseling, and other inquiries, please call the number 80 65 78 34 27. Have a great day.